what is up team welcome back to this daily cryptocurrency once again and in this video we're going to be having a look at my top four altcoins that i'm currently buying right now one of them is a meme coin an ultra low cap altcoin that can 50x from here if you guys like this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like turn notification bells on so you guys never miss a video and before anything guys make sure you don't invest more money than you can afford to lose please none of this is financial advice always do your own research and due diligence let's dive in straight into altcoin number one and that is kda kadena kadena has essentially very very big things happening this month and of course the ledger integration is around the corner now not oh, i know a lot of you have been a little bit impatient with kda it's been down but the market cap is still quite low 201 million dollars sitting at 87 cents kda is proof of work 480,000 transaction per second it has a very very good team and a very big team and they will only keep on building from here don't sleep on kda i know it's been a little bit frustrating even if it goes down a little bit more i think kda is here to stay and i think it's going to do wonders in the next bull market i think it's really going to do what solana did in the last bull market having an altcoin number two we're gonna have a look at gala game gala is upgrading their contract to gala v2 on may 15 as you guys can see right here gala v2 will be obviously very very big as well now a lot of you have been asking do i need to do anything for gala do i need to send my tokens anywhere do i can i leave it on exchanges and yes most of exchanges will be supporting the gala v2 uh, integration or the gala v2 swap essentially you could also leave it on the erc20 uh, not not exchange but essentially a cold wallet like metamask trust wallet anything that is on chain essentially you will essentially receive your gala v2 tokens on a one-to-one -one exchange and make sure guys you don't essentially transfer your money in that time leave it on the exchange leave it where or you know leave it on the your cold wallet metamask make sure you don't do any sort of transaction for 24 hours and that's about it please 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 because you may be at risk of losing your token so if you have on-chain tokens make sure you guys don't do anything and don't panic everything will be okay your tokens will essentially be there and having a look at altcoin number three i mean we got wojak guys Ten thousand people on the watch list this is 14 this is the altcoin or the meme one i wanted to talk about okay the mark cap is 47 million dollar we saw what pepe did in the last couple of weeks okay that thing really really exploded now me when i saw pepe i was like you know what it's 30 million dollars it's already up 500 percent why would i buy it into it right now and right now you could see wojak is at 47 million dollars and this thing is about to explode now look at the volume okay the volume is also 50 million dollar it's actually higher than a lot of these cryptocurrencies in the top 100 yet wojak is not even in the top 300 okay so imagine what happens when wojak gets listed on big exchanges and imagine what happens when it keeps on pumping right we could see right here that we currently bottomed at 45 46 uh depending on what exchange we are and now we're currently up and exploding now where can you buy wojak essentially well if we go down all the way and we go on all markets we can see that wojak is actually available in a lot of exchanges we got uniswap we got gate huob bitget mexc ascendex bitmart uh open ocean bing x we got a lot a lot of exchanges now if we have a look at the top exchanges right here it is not yet listed on Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, KuCoin, Bybit, Bitstamp, OKX. Now exchanges like OKX, Binance and all that are not going to want to miss on the volume that Wojak is currently doing right now because why do exchanges want to list tokens? It's not because it's the project. It's not really because it's the team. One, it has to be a clean contract and two, it has to have a lot of volume. Exchanges won't list uh, essentially coins if it doesn't have a lot of volume because this is how they make money they make money by fees by trading fees okay spot future and exchanges at the end all they want is to make money so yes if a coin has like two hundred thousand dollar worth of volume every day of course they're not going to change it this is why a lot of these top tier one exchanges are delisting coins that have below five hundred thousand dollar worth of volume so we could see right here that binance coinbase kraken kucoin bybit bitstamp okx still have not and bitfinex have not essentially uh listed uh wojak yet now gate.io gate has bitget has and of course these are top 10 exchanges yes but they're not the best exchanges right i mean most people right now are trading on binance coinbase crack and kucoin um i think even even okx i'm not sure about that but a lot of people are essentially trading on mexe right now people are mexe is actually moving the ranking at the moment so 
when this happens i think that wojak is gonna explode not only 10x but 30x from here so this is why i think we're still early i mean we saw what happened to pepe when it got listed on binance i mean it got listed on binance i think at a 900 million dollar market cap and that thing exploded to 1.6 billion dollars okay so don't sleep on wojak having a look at last but not least we got vra guys what what else can you do 52 dollar 52 million dollar market cap proof of view click ad fraud nft ai big data gaming entertainment we know how big all these industries are and the market cap is pretty pretty low the volume has been decreasing veracity has been in a little bit of a panic mode recently but guess what there's still 388,000 people on the watch list people are still loving vra people are still interested in vra and vra in my opinion is here to stay nothing too crazy i know a lot of people have been panicking a lot of people have been disappointed but guess what guys the whole crypto market has been down especially the altcoins it's not only vra not only KD, it's not only Gala, it's not only AGIX, it's every altcoin except for maybe Ethereum and Bitcoin, which is not an altcoin, Bitcoin is king. So at the moment right now, yes, it is Bitcoin season, it's not really alt season yet, and that's about it. So these are the top four altcoins right now that I'm currently accumulating for this month, um, besides Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course. I think Bitcoin and Ethereum, everyone should be accumulating on a monthly basis. There is no question about that. Any profit you make from trading on leverage, gambling nfts should go straight into bitcoin and ethereum first before essentially investing in altcoins because bitcoin and ethereum are essentially the safest yes it could still go down but of course altcoin season won't happen for another year and right now we are currently in meme season so the altcoin that could potentially be big right now at the moment is probably Wojak. I think it's going to explode. Yes, even in this bear market. And it really doesn't matter if Bitcoin goes down, altcoins go up. I think Wojak is going to explode very, very soon this week or this upcoming week, especially when we see the inflation numbers going down. A lot of money will be flowing it not only to crypto, but into Wojak as well. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow.